wanted for me to make the word elf into a Bloxburg house. But wait, I gotta fit the part. I don't look like an elf. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Now I fit the part of looking like an elf. So to start off with this, we need some walls and we gotta outline the letters. So I think I'm gonna put the E like this. Then we're gonna go up and like that. And then we need the middle part of the E. Wait, why is this so easy? I usually struggle making these letters. That actually turned out good on the first attempt. So now L and F. There we go, the letter L. And now we just need one more, which is the F. And voila, we have the word elf. Also, make sure to like the video and comment what word I should make a house out of next. Now that the layout of the house is ready, I have brought some of my subscribers to help me decorate each of the letters. And look, they're even wearing Christmas clothing. She has a gingerbread apron. I have my elf outfit on. And she has red and gift bows on her head. Oh my goodness, are those candy canes? I gotta make sure I add candy canes in my build. Okay, my little elves, let's go into build mode and let's start this build. The letter I've chosen is the letter F. And my idea for this is I said, separate these and then these little points of the letter is going to be like a separate room maybe this could be the living room and this could be a bedroom and then like this would be a hallway yeah i don't know maybe we should just start building <laughs> what type of door would an elf have maybe this elegant window door would be cute Ooh, i like that instead they probably would have like some type of fireplace is that too close maybe it is a bit close but we'll make it work <laughs> wait don't they have like actual gingerbread houses gingerbread <gasps> yes. I'm gonna put that down right there. For the entrance of the room, I guess we could have like a small Christmas tree as soon as you walk through the door because an elf would definitely have a Christmas tree, right? They work for Santa. I wonder how like the idea of elves got created. Was it because Santa needed extra helpers? Is that how they created it? Why, why am I thinking about how elves are created? <laughs> That's like the most random thing. Also, my couch is going inside my wall. This is quite cramped. Um, at least there's space to pass by, kind of. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I never realized how scary their faces look. They're just staring at you. Make sure to like and subscribe or I'll find you. <laughs> this is definitely besides the point, but look how cute this house is. I want to recreate that, but I'm literally stuck with a letter at house. <laughs> how am I going to make this look nice? But you know what? This gave me an idea. I'm going to have the bottom of the house red and then the top of it green. And you're probably wondering how I'm going to do that. So, or maybe you're not wondering at all and you're probably like, Panda, I, I was not wondering that. Why are you going to tell me? So with these uh, standard square beams, I could go like this. Oh my goodness, wait that. Why did that? The little, little English. Wait, actually, why is that kind of cute? Look, it looks like an elf house, kind of. Not really. I'm just trying to convince myself. <laughs> I just remembered Bloxburg added this holiday choo-choo train that goes around the tree. So maybe I could like use it somehow. Hello, let me, why can't I pick it up? I have to pick it up by the train. That's a little strange. Anyways, um, <gasps> starting with some peppermint pillows. Ah, you can do this? What? I didn't know you can transform it. <gasps> Bloxburg, since when did you add this effect? Imagine this just always being there and I never knew about that. We also need a small snow globe up here. Wait, we didn't name our elves. Hmm, this one is Bobby and this one is Rachel. Bobby and Rachel. Make sure to comment their names down below so I don't forget their names. <laughs> okay, so Bobby is gonna be blue. Oh, that's not Bobby. That's Bobby. And then this one is Rachel and she's gonna be purple. I think that's pretty cute. Oh my goodness, I have the best idea. Okay, we're gonna make it into like a toddler dining room because they're elves. What else do you expect? So I'm placing a bunch of these toddler tables. There we go. This one is in coloring. Hello. Table. There we go. That's kind of cute. <gasps> there are mini Christmas trees. And then we need plates. But these plates are kind of big for them. Um, do they have tiny plates? They have these small plate stacks, but that doesn't really work. You know what? They don't need plates. Let's continue decorating the kitchen because we have the dining room now. So now we need the kitchen. Kids play chef. Perfect. So we can have that there and then we can have a second one. Or is that too much? Maybe instead I'll do like mini baby counters. So we'll get a cube. Voila, like that. 
And then all we have to do is just duplicate this. And then the top of it is this green. Or should the top of it be the red? I don't know. This is difficult. Why isn't any of this matching? This is the end result of what I chose for it to be. Now we got to add in the appliances. Oh, I'm scared the appliances are going to look really big. But you know what? As long as they're there, that's what matters. And maybe a food canning station? I mean, for their like jellies. And then I could put a small window here so they can actually look out of the window because if they're able to sit on these chairs, they're probably pretty short. I was scared that the cabinets wouldn't fit here, but they're actually the perfect size because they're above the kitchen and that's exactly what I wanted. So let's just recolor them. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, she's looking cute. For the bed, I'm going to be needing a cube. We're gonna resize that down and extend it because that's how a bed is. <laughs> Thank goodness for being able to resize blankets. If not, then this bed would literally be a block. Yeah, just a block. <laughs> and then for more comfort, we gotta add some pillows. And then we need that peppermint pillow. This is literally my favorite pillow in Bloxburg during the winter. I know we have these like square holiday pillows and everything, but the peppermint pillow is just like chef's kiss. <laughs> so now this room is kind of big for this one small bed. And then we're going to build a small bunk bed. How? Uh, I don't know either. And voila, a shelf that we could place the bed on top. You see what I did here? This is big braining to its finest. There's no way that this perfectly fits underneath. This is like perfect. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> and now what would an elf have on their table? Probably like a stack of papers from Santa saying, do not fail elf school wait do elves have school imagine they go to school trying to um be prepared to help santa make the gifts we could put some playing blocks down here a bunch of little toys a puzzle literally anything that's in the kids section i'm just gonna place down and then we also need a small little carpet is that cute or does that look out of place <gasps> wait maybe i could color it to be a red that looks adorable perfect oh my goodness i'm obsessed i feel like i'm building like a little kid's room. But then again, that's what elves basically are. But it honestly ended up looking not too bad. So at least it's possible. You know that. <laughs> Can I resize this? <gasps> I can. Oh my goodness. We can have little tiny boxes. Oh. I'm gonna place down two of them. I don't know why I would need those boxes, but they're just cute. So I'm, I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> Wait, why can't I color the flooring? What? I didn't know you couldn't color the flooring. This is rigged. Why can't I do it? Please, Bloxburg. Wait, I just got a really cute idea. You see how this doesn't have a railing? What if I use these pillows as a railing? Like a little candy cane peppermint railing. I just said the word railing like five times, but look how cute that looks. Oh! Voila! So adorable. And maybe I'll put down some elf decals because we don't want it to be sad in here. We need some elf spirit. So I'm gonna put down one here and then I'm going to put a rectangular one there. Oh, wait, that's a square. <laughs> I need to go back to school. Oh, and wait, can't I put a curtain on this? Wait, oh my goodness, there's no way. Wait, that just worked. Why isn't it letting me... Hello? That's adorable! Okay, let's move on to the bathroom next. Wait, there's a training potty. Well, there we go. Our bathroom is finished. We have our training potty. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I don't know if this is good or bad. You know, just a normal day in the Bloxburg neighborhood with some elves watching you use the toilet. <laughs> our little elf cult, just in case you need extra help on the loo. We got multiple elves just for you. Oh, wait, that rhymed. Oh my goodness, call me a poet or something. It is a crime they don't let you put stockings directly on the fireplace. Wait, they don't? Hold up, I need to try this. Oh, wait, they don't. Oh wait, they do. I guess they let you put it on this decor. The mantle decor? Man held decor. Well, I just solved all their problems. Or well, 99 problems and I ain't one. I don't know how many stockings I need, but maybe this is good enough. <laughs> so for our little sink, this box sink can go at any height that you want. So I'm gonna place that down here. And then I'm going to be using these counters from my kitchen kitchen or well reusing them at least and there we go we have the sink that's fully functional and now how are we gonna build a bathtub or a shower they don't have like a small bath right <laughs> unless we shower inside of here the triple bath and sink <laughs> um this does not look like a bathroom whatsoever especially with my little elves over here but we're just gonna pretend it is <laughs> we also need a mirror for the small elves to look at themselves Ooh, 
that looks nice. Wait, isn't there like a sound effect that, that goes like that? Ooh, that looks nice. I'm probably just making things up. <laughs> and then what else I could do is add a small window over here and in this corner too. Why? Because we need natural lighting. I say that as I'm covering the window with some lights. <laughs> isn't that cute? I'm obsessed with these windows. That's probably one of my favorite parts of this build. Oh, so cute. And I also want to make sure I add some curtains here. Does this cover the window? Oh, I said window. I meant mirror. The sink is like not centered with the mirror. But we're just going to pretend it is. <laughs> we're going to have the toilet paper right next to the toilet. Just so you can reach it. There we go. Perfect. And the last thing we need in here is a carpet. Or, well, a bath mat. Uh, How should I do this? Should I put one here or one there? I don't know how to do this. So if we grab one of these. And we need a wrapping station. This house is for elves. How do we not have a wrapping station? They literally work as professional Christmas wrappers. Oh my goodness, Christmas wrappers. <gasps> the elf wrap is coming out soon to um, Spotify near you. <laughs> Look at all the light boxes from the windows that we added. <laughs> and now for the roofing, I'm going to go ahead like this, like that. And voila, I colored it a red on the top, just like the elf house. Or well, the elf house is the opposite way around with the green on top and the red. But but it's okay. Now that all the letter houses are done, let's tour them. The first letter we have is the letter E in the word elf. I really like the blues that they added. This is nice. Hold up. Oh my goodness. And when we go inside, they have the aesthetic colored presents. She said, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, do what this person told you. You better do it or else she'll find you. She's watching. <laughs> and if we turn the corner, here is a bookcase. They have some ornaments. And I really think these color schemes are amazing. The dark blue one wallpaper and the light accents look at the little gingerbread man if we continue walking it seems like this is a dining room and her chairs even face forward oh my goodness every time i do this my chairs face the opposite way and then we have a door over here which is the middle part of the e so this is where this bathroom is located she has such nice decorations on these shelves she has the little elf she has a candle a reindeer here is the sink area the toilet and then they made a custom little separation for the bathtub with some green and red pillows pillows i mean towels oh my goodness where did i get pillows from <laughs> finally we have her living room with the stockings on the fireplace and she even added a little frosty the snowman plushie right next to the fireplace i love that this door has a bow on it oh this is fancy hold up so this is the top of the e here is her dresser place we have a little gingerbread man and everything up uh, how did she get in here i didn't see her pass me and then here is her bed with a painting on the wall and a, a nightstand this is so cute i love this and she even added a nutcracker oh my goodness i didn't have space for any of this in my build it was so small <laughs> next up we have the letter l they also added a bow on their door i didn't think of that <laughs> As soon as we walk in, we have some red decorations. So this one is more red-ish compared to the other one where it was blue. On the right over here is their kitchen. Their microwave is up top there. Um, If I was an elf, I would not be able to reach that. Or well, I mean, if I stood on the counter, I guess I could. <laughs> and then if we walk in here, ooh, so this is their dining room. They even added lobster and a peppermint latte. She is so fancy. And then we have a bunch of snowflake decorations on the wall here she is she said subscribe to panda if you do then you're cool oh my goodness even the nutcracker agrees look there's no thought behind those eyes because he subscribed <laughs> that was a joke here is their fireplace they even have a small christmas tree oh my goodness one of the reindeers from the tv show went on top of the fireplace it escaped and then this next room is this the last room no there's another one even this space is a little cramped but she made it work she added custom stairs then she added a whole whole entire bunk bed over here and look how many christmas pillows they added i just want to go sleep in this bed and next up the final room of the house is the bathroom we have snowflake decorations we have a toilet a shower and a sink um hold up but we have a problem here uh there's no toilet paper how am i going to wipe my elf yacht as they say nowadays <laughs> I sound like such a boomer. What, what am I even saying at this point? And last but not least, we have the elf letter house. 
He's just watching me over there. Hello. <laughs> Look, for the entrance, I added small little gumdrops with some custom shapes. I even added a little elf. And it says House of Elves only. Because only real elves are allowed inside of this house. It's an elf house. So welcome. Here we have the naughty list with a calendar. We have our custom or well, normal Christmas tree with the train. Wait, can't you actually turn on the train? <gasps> oh. Oh. It kind of goes inside and outside of the wall, as you can see over here, but we're gonna pretend that doesn't happen. Then I have my living room with my custom carpet, some elves over here. Um, I totally did not forget the names of this. They, this is Jimmy and this is Rachel, right? Did I get it right? Um, I'm a bad parent. Anyways, <laughs> here is our dining room slash kitchen. We have some present decorated cabinets. We have our mini kitchen set over here and our mini little elf dining table. Oh wait, because I'm too tall to go through this door, I gotta change my character to a kid. Ta-da! Now that I actually fit in this house, I can use this stove to cook with my um flying spatula. Girl, what are you doing? Cooking the air or something? Now let's go through this small little door. Welcome inside my elf bedroom. We have some storage units over here along with a toy doll set, a wrapping station because I'm an elf. That's what I do. And then I even added a small desk area along with the bed space. I want to go up on the bed. Do I go through the ceiling? I don't. Oh my goodness. I told you this was specially made for me. The elf. <laughs> and the next door is our bathroom. Here we have a small sink with a stepping stool. Then we have the stepping stool to get into the tub. We even have one elf over here that watches you bathe. And then when you use the toilet, there is no one watching. I'm too old for this. Hold up. I can't use my own toilet. I guess I have to be a toddler to use it. Oh, okay. I'm waddling now. Hello, toddler panda here. There we go. No one is watching me while I use the toilet. Absolutely no one. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Send help. <laughs> like and subscribe to be in the next word house.